Cougar and Bottle, welcome to the EE British Academy Film Awards 2021. Um, now, Thank this you. must feel like a, a full circle moment for you because you were nominated for Rising Star yes. in 2015. Is was it, it 2015? So? It I was 2015. couldn't remember when it was. <laughs> Little fact check, it was 2015. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's amazing to be back in such mm. different times, but um, I'm so happy that, you know, the awards are able to continue this year. And, uh, you know, I was talking to your, your wonderful friend and uh, co-star, two of them actually. People have been speaking your praises very highly on this red carpet. Oh. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom Hiddleston and David Oyelowo, yeah. who let me know that on your new project, you two are going to be getting down and dirty. Ah. That, those were his exact words. The you can, secret's you can, out. You can look back on the internet. Uh. Yeah, no, we're working together now, and I just finished working with Tom last year mm. on Loki. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, they're both so brilliant. Um, you know, you've got these amazing challenges as an actor for you with these two completely different characters. Um, how do you feel about being welcomed into the Marvel world? Because you know you are probably going to, you know, be the recipient of a lot of fan art. <laughs> <laughs> Has it already started? Yeah, no, I mean, it's amazing. I think, you know, the trailer just came out this week, which mm. is really exciting and just generating so much interest. And I think, you know, my character is a character that hasn't been seen, you know, in the MCU before. So um, I'm really just so excited for people to see it. And um, yeah, bring it on, bring on June 11th. Yeah. <laughs> I think, and I think every single child under the age of 10 is now going to be obsessed with you. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, just going back to the EE Rising Star category, we've got some incredible talent um, from these films this year. Were there any particular standouts for you? In the whole, in all of the films? Yeah, why not? Let's go there. Yeah, I mean, gosh, I loved um, The Sound of Metal, Riz Ahmed's performance. Fantastic. I just, you know, has really stayed with me. I just thought it was so, so haunting. Mm. Um, uh, the father was another favourite of mine, Anthony Hopkins, you know, and, the, and the, the directing and just the whole story I just found so incredibly moving. Um, I also loved uh, Frances McDormand in, in Nomadland, so yeah, those she are my favourites. <laughs> and, and tonight you grace the stage to give out an award. Yes. Um, can you let us know which category? Yes, I am co-presenting uh, with Tom Best British Film. Okay. Yeah. And such such a competitive uh, category. Yeah. Uh, Tom Tom alluded to the fact that he has some biases, and that's okay because you're, you're all friends. It's a fraternity. Yeah. Um, in in this craft, are there any that you that you're that you're secretly rooting in for? In the British films, yes. I couldn't possibly say there's so many, and I love that it's such a diverse group as well. So I'm not going to comment. But um, no, they're all they're all amazing and very very much worthy to be there. And I think the thing we're seeing this year is that there's no such thing as just one singular British story, right? Absolutely. So many points of view and such individual voices so um, yeah it's really refreshing well Google we cannot wait to see you and Tom off on that stage uh, making uh, a British film very happy <laughs> uh, Google thank you so much thank you thanks thank for you. having me